Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we'll be discussing circuits in Revit and more of troubleshooting circuits than actually uh, doing a lot of creating of circuits. But let's take a look, um, I guess first of all, how to create a circuit correctly, and then we'll go into some troubleshooting. So uh, let's go quickly and, and set up a circuit. Now you'll notice that we have some fixtures in this project already. Now the walls are all gone because I don't have the background, and that's not a problem for our little video. I'm going to grab this fixture. Now I'm going to grab the fixture and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tool called Create Similar. And it's just going to make it easy for me to come out here and just place some fixtures. Now I place fixture A, okay, come over here, B, C, and D. Now there's some filters running that are causing the, the actual uh, fixtures to turn different colors if they're not circuited yet, which is a cool little trick. Uh, I may go over that in another video. So I've got these four fixtures sitting out here. And they're just hanging out, and you'll notice, uh, for instance, see that one's kind of purple? Uh, that, that could be part of the reason that we're having some issues. Now, if I hover over this fixture and I select it, you'll notice that currently, if we come over here and start looking at some different aspects, for instance, panel number and circuit number, see it's blank. So if I was to come over here and run, let's say, a wire, I'm going to grab a wire from, let's say, on the fixture here, I'm going to do a home run. So I'm going to go, let's say, 1, 2. Now, I've created my home run. The hours are turned off right now for this instance. Just so you know. Now it's time to tag it. So I'm going to go to annotate and I hit tag by category and I select the element. You'll notice how it says it's, it's unnamed. The reason it's unnamed is it doesn't know what panel nor circuit to put it on. So that's why they pop up. There's a fixture somewhere in that setup that's causing that to happen. So how do we fix it? Well first of all what we want to do is we want to create a circuit or a group. Now, if you think of them as creating a group of them and point them to the panel, it makes it easy. So I'm going to grab this guy here. One, let's say two, and three. These three are going to put on the same circuit. So I'll highlight the three of them. Now, I have changed my colors behind the scenes to make it easier. I'll mention that right now. In Revit, you have the ability to go up here under Options. And if you want to change your background to black, that's fine. But what I recommend is change the selections to red. Notice I can see them. They're real easy when I select them. If they're set to blue, especially when you're using blue colors, they're hard to see. So I say in mine to red, they really pop. And watch when I roll over the, the element. See it even pops in red. So red selected, red pre-selection. So it just makes it easier. Now these are selected. And now it's time to power them up. You'll see there's a power icon right here. So I'll hit power. And it's going to ask me at this point, hey, two things. It's going to show me these are the actual objects that are going to be, let's say, grouped together. And I hit select panel. Now, I'm going to come over here, drop this down. I'm going to say I want to send you to the TECP panel. And what happens is now Revit assigns them the, the latest circuit, or the last circuit in the list. 38 was the previous, or whatever it was. Now it's uh, 41. And so notice it picked it up and said, hey, I'm going to that panel, that circuit. Revit is also asking me, do I want to put the wire in at this time? If I click on this, it adds the wire. So that is the, the proper way to add a circuit. Now, if you want to run multiple home runs, let's say I run into this fixture that I want to run, run a home run, chances are these are going to be on separate circuits right now. Here's where it gets interesting. If I come over here, and I'm not going to do it correct, I'm just going to, let's say I'm moving fast, I don't have a lot of time, I hit wire, let's say I wire this fixture, this fixture. Now, if I go ahead and let's say pick a point in space, now come over here and I'll wire to this one, pick on it somewhere. What it does is it picks it up and it goes, it's going to sometimes throw a fit because this guy actually isn't circuited yet. Now, it didn't throw a fit this time, but let's make do it right. We're going to grab this element, we're going to power it up, we're going to point it to the same panel, and what it should do is go to the next circuit. So the last one was 41, this one should go to 43. 42. Okay, so picked up 42, and here we go. Now, you notice it didn't update. Now, if I grab this tag and I go to move it a little bit, usually it will update. Or, you'll notice how this may be set up as a home run. It may not be connecting. So let's go ahead and I'm going to delete that wire. Okay, and I'm going to bring these make sure they connect now. So, if I hover over a unit, or uh, a fixture, and I hit tab, you'll see how they pick up as a group. And a lot of times that makes it easy to set up a home run. Now, you see it wants a home run but it's only a single element. Now I can actually pick on that circuit. Okay, now the trick is the tab key. I hold over it, I hit tab, 
tab, tab, and see how it's cycling through different selections. Now when I hit circuit, I can actually tell it to wire. Now that's a separate home run. But if I want to run them together, I can take this guy and drag it to the center of this fixture here. And see the dot that changed? See it's just a regular X and then there's a it's called a connector. When I like go on a connector, watch what it does to home run. So now it wires it back through this one. So it's a good little tip to, to know and understand how those work. So I'm going to kind of drag that out the way and just graphically move it. So notice it's actually brought that over to here. And now these two, let's get this out the way. See how that home run is picking up both those. So that's how we'd want to run those circuits. Now if you don't want to see the, the wire uh, or the ticks, you can actually turn those on and off. But that's the proper way. What sometimes happens is you'll take something like this and it won't be on a circuit. So I'm going to go to electrical circuits, right? Now you'll see it's on a circuit right now and, and it's happy that it's on a circuit and all that. But if I wanted to, I can come over here, tab over it, tab, tab. See that circuit, I picked the circuit. Now I'm going to hit delete. Okay? What I'm doing is I'm not deleting the fixture, but I deleted the circuit. Now if I grab on this guy, I'm going to move it. Notice how it only has one on here. So, so you're getting some weird things that are going on. So you want to make sure that your elements are circuited. And if you are getting unnamed in here, usually what it means is that those objects aren't pointed to a particular circuit. So let's take a look at another one now. So we're going to move through the project. And over here we have, uh, as we're moving through, I'm going to get a little, nice little clean area. Let me figure out what it is okay, right here. Now in this area, we've got these little guys. And let's say we want to. Uh, see why these are or if these are working correctly now if I run a home run off of here let's see what we get so wire come over pick on a connection one two alright and let's see what we get at this point notice I've got a lot of ticks in there I'm thinking hmm that's interesting let's see what's happening go to annotate we go up here and we hit tag by category I hover over it and I picked it and you notice it's unnamed You're like wait what what's going on there well let's see what's happening with the circuit the circuiting now if I hover over this fixture and I hit tab tab now notice how that fires up that thing now and I pick it you'll notice I pick the big rectangle here and I'll hit edit circuit now when I hit edit circuit you'll notice that it's not set to a panel all those elements now which ones it actually has one two three four five six seven eight it's actually got eleven elements in it these are all part of the same circuit you can see they're bold where they're they're all now see the wiring goes over here and stops and goes this way and this wire goes this way so what's happening is they're not a they're not clean circuits so we got some weird stuff going on here now if I send these to a panel what's gonna happen is it should update now if it doesn't update now notice it's notice it's updating You're like hey wait it updated but it's still got an unnamed in here. So what's happening is we have multiple circuits going on. Let's hit finish on that one. So when I hover over here and I hit tab, 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 notice you're like, whoa, what's notice it's it's calculating a load based off of these, because these, let's see what circuit those are on. If I actually hover over this fixture and pick the fixture itself, notice it says, well, then that's a fill. Let me hover over it, tab, pick the fixture. Okay. So he's on 42 also, but he's going, he's not wired. So what's happened here is we got a little bit of inconsistency. Now, if I hover over this guy and I hit tab, tab, notice these, one, two, three, four, these are also a circuit. See, I got the little box coming up around them, and that's all nice. Now, when I hit select panel, notice they're not set to a panel. So I drop this down, and I'm going to send you to another panel. Okay and you'll see how it actually puts them like so. So the trick is if you're getting these little unnamed it may be a function of the circuits and the wires are not consistent. So this could be a pain sometimes. Now there are some quick fixes. For instance we'll go over here and take a look at another one that is uh, a little screwy. Let's go down here. I think this is a good example. Yeah, uh, right here see which one we look at. Okay, notice this one. Now when I hover over this fixture and I hit tab and I pick it and that's picking up the fixtures and all the wiring and you can see how it's all running. You're thinking, okay, that's looking pretty good. That's kind of maybe what I want. 
Now it goes down a ways down here and it's picking up a lot of stuff. Now I'm going to try to get it all on the screen. Okay. Now I hit, I clicked off of it. Now I'm going to hover over it again. Now I'm going to start hitting tab again. Tab. Okay. Tab. Now I'm picking up the circuit this time. Now that's the circuit. See it's going around it. Now let's go through it again. We're going to start hitting, hitting tab. Now that's the whole kit and caboodle. And you'll notice I'm getting some weird wiring scenarios when I come into it. Let's zoom in on it. You see there. So it says 36 and unnamed. Now when I pick on this guy, you'll see it says 36 unnamed. That's what's in that wire. Now I could try to track it all the way back, but even if I go all the way to the end, I'm going to go way, I think it goes all the way down here. Let's see what this is. Okay. So uh, that says C circuits 36. That's, that's pretty happy. At some point in here, it picks up some unknown circuit. I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that, right? So we can walk this back and continue walking up. So all this is looking pretty good. And at one point, we pick up something weird. Oh, right along here somewhere. So I'm not sure exactly where it's picking up, but we picked up that unnamed circuit. Now what happened is we might have something like, wait, wait, let's go there, go there, while walking this around. Okay, now that is unnamed, that little piece there. And sometimes things get a little squirrely. So how can we make this fix? Sometimes it's just a matter of deleting the wire and redoing it. And that sounds a little crazy, but notice that circuit picks up some sensors and things and looks good. We pick on it. Now I'm going to go filters, and it's going to sound crazy. I've got lots of devices and lots of objects. I'm going to say, take all the wires, just the wires, and delete them. Now I know you're freak, going to freak out because I'm going to delete all the wires, but delete the wires. Okay. So deleting all the wiring. And it, Revit still knows it's all wired together because the wires are just more of a secondary thing. So now they're all gone. Now we're not going to panic just yet. I'm going to hover over this. I'm going to go tab. And see how it's picking them all up again, right? Now tab. And notice one is leaving out. It happens to be leaving out that one that we were having problems with earlier. Now we're going to wire it all back again. Wire it up. Okay. And it's going to do its little wiring. Now let's come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a tag on here. Tag by category and we touch it. Notice how it's happy now. Now at this point we may go back and wire that sensor back in and we'll just go over here, go to systems, wire, and kind of wire it back in. So we'll come here, pick this, and then pick this item, and we'll wire it, and we'll see if that's going to cause it to give us some grief. So we wired that element up, and notice it's still happy over here. So sometimes you get these little ones, that just you notice know, that's an unnamed circuit because it's not a real circuit there. It seems to pick them up. Okay, so a uh, couple little tips to make the circuit incorrect. Now the final thing is how can you find these weird little groups that are not circuited? Uh, one tip is to use filters, which we'll cover in another video. But let's take a look at a little tool in Revit called uh, the System Browser. It's located under View and it's under the user interface and it's one called System Browser. Now when I fire that up, it's telling me all the unnamed circuits right here. Now you're thinking, well, well, tell me where they are. If I select this guy and I hit right click and I hit show, what it's going to do, it's going to go and show me that fixture. See these? Close. These three fixtures don't have a circuit. So if I grab those and I hit electrical circuits, notice it's unnamed. They don't have a panel yet. So if we run this out, what's going to happen is on that home run, you may actually have a problem. Okay? Now, uh, so that's something to consider if when you're trying to find those little oddities as you go through. Go ahead and pick on one. Right click, show, and it'll show you where these uh, unnamed ones are. So uh, now some of them you may, like this guy, he doesn't have it, he's not plugged in anywhere, so he's, he has no, no power he's not going to any panel. So sometimes we have to grab these elements, electrical circuit, and even though he's circuited, now that's the thing, you can circuit things and not send them to a panel. And sometimes early on that, get, that happens. We create a group of electrical rece uh, receptacles, uh, light fixtures, but we never really power them up. We don't send them to a panel. You want to make sure everything's sent to the panel so we have a, a, a true load. We select the panel, or I just drop this down and say, whoop, that's the wrong one. Try that again. Circuits, select the panel, and then we drop this down and say you're with this panel here. We pick the panel, now it's actually circuited to the panel. 
and what's going to happen is it'll drop out a list and it'll go here. So you'll have that, it won't be unnamed anymore. So now it's going to the particular panel. So as you go through, that's some good tricks to make that happen. So I hope you enjoyed the tip of the week here. This little system browser comes in handy. In a perfect world, when you're done, you should have no unnamed um, circuits here. And that way you know everything's pointed. And in theory, you should not get any unnames. And you should get uh, a total quantity for all the fixtures that are in here. Hope you enjoyed the tip of the week. If you want to check us out on the web, you can go to the Revit guy, excuse me, <laughs> the BIMGuys.com or uh, AutoCADTraining.com if you're interested in that also. Thank you.